Hi there, everybody. Welcome, welcome to another stream today. I am back once again playing some Animal Crossing. And I gotta say, I really need it today. I, I really do. This thing is still bugging me. I don't know what is wrong with this thing. I gotta go mess with my green screen some more. Maybe if I just scoot it back. That help? No. Here, let's do this. Oh, look, it's Escape Artist. And also Tiny Human. And Rev. Hi. And Mathewin is here, too. Hi to all of you. Just hang on one second. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to find my little camera thing here. Real quick. I've got to adjust my, uh, what's it called? My thing. If it even lets me, I don't know if it will. It doesn't look like it wants to let me. Sorry, it's just really been bothering me that that thing doesn't work very well. Hopefully that'll keep it okay at least. But I hope everybody had a good weekend at least. Well, look, it's Admiral. It's true, it's not easy being green. As that one frog said. Very eloquent. Tiny is open. I'll probably go and visit Tiny. That could be fun. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm feeling okay-ish today. Um, not really great though. I um, I actually took a personal day off of work so that I could relax. I I just had a, a really rough weekend, like brain-wise. It was. Um, it was just difficult, so um, yeah, I, I did the, the best I could, I, I really tried. Hmm. Iron B, what does that even mean? No, cancel. I don't want to do it! Nothing! Oh my god! Fine. I'll retype mine. What are you doing? Aw, oh, but Mathewin, I was gonna visit you. It's, um, yeah, it, it was definitely helpful to just sort of chill for a while, um, without a doubt. I, um, I don't know, it's, it's just a weird, weird weekend. Um, and it kind of sucks because, you know, it's a weekend. It's, it should be nice and happy and fun and at least ish and stuff. But for me, it just, it, it really just did not go well. And, um, and today, unfortunately, it wasn't a whole lot better. I did get to rest. I did get to relax a bit. And my awesome wifey got me awesome food. So that was pretty cool. E even though I'm, I am, as they say, panzone. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's just... 
it, it, it's a weird combination of a bunch of different things, unfortunately, because it's like, I, um, you know, like I'm, I'm working through doing um, all of my, uh, my gaming stuff, all of the stuff for my channel, all of my work stuff, my various side hustle stuffs that I do. Um, so it's, it's one of those issues where it happened a couple of years ago. Uh, it, it was much, much worse then. But where it's it's basically like I, I, I just became crazy overwhelmed. Like right now I'm not overwhelmed by any means. But it's it's just difficult sometimes basically. Kind of sucks. Human subscribe. Yay, Tiny. Yeah, and that's the thing is that sometimes you just gotta take a day off. And part of the issue was that there was there was a massive restructuring thing that happened uh, where I work. Um, so I, uh, not to mention because of all the COVID stuff, like we're we're heavily focused on doing COVID work. So. It's really difficult to basically be like, oh, psh, I'm not working today. Like, I need a day off because I didn't have time available to take off. And on top of that, there's just so much to do. <laughs> but either way, I, um, I was at least able to rest a little bit. I played a lot of uh, Super Smash Brothers, so that was fun. Um... Incidentally, if you guys have ideas for um, for uh, Saturday, um, I finished up Link's Awakening, so it's time to find some um, something new to play. If you guys have suggestions, I, I'm still debating whether or not I want to get um, uh, whether I want to get um, the Paper Mario game Origami. Um, I probably will at some point. I don't know if I'll get it in time for, um... Oh! Well, that was lucky. I don't know if I'll get it in time for the stream, but still. So, yeah. Apparently, you can build a legit yard in this game don't really understand how. But yeah, honestly, I, I was planning on... Ooh, look, a pearl. Fancy. I was planning on buying, um, what's it called, the, um, the Paper Mario game uh, today, actually, after the stream and stuff. Because I already ate, which is rather unprecedented for those of you who watch regularly. So I'm not very hungry. Bah ha ha ha. I still have my snack though. Oh, blue roses so pretty. And gold roses. That's a nice looking house. I like the balloons. It's very pretty. And with the little fountain and the little seating area. That is nice. That's really cool. She was crying for a little bit. I don't know why. Probably because she got bills in the mail. I often do that. I'm actually excited because I got some really good mail today. Uh, I, I got um, one of those things where it's like claim, unclaimed money. Um, so like refunds, old deposits, stuff like that. Um, apparently an old job of mine screwed up on their payroll. And so they owe, owe me a bunch of money. Um, so they're going to cut me a check. And I'm like, score! Extra money, woo! It's very exciting. But um, yeah. So incidentally, how did everybody? Um, how did everybody else go for the weekend? I hope it was better than mine. <laughs> Basically, go with me. Go with me. I'm gonna jump off the waterfall. Ah! I can't jump off the waterfall. I'm gonna run through them. I'm gonna do it. I'm crazy. 
I'm super crazy. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. It's gonna ruin them. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it, Tiny. I picked a flower. I'll do it to this one. You best move out the way. I'll pick the flower. I'm gonna do it. I'm crazy. I did it. I picked the other flower. I'm gonna do it to this one. Best move. Best move out the way. I am a crazy monster. I pick more flower. Uh, I pick this flower. <laughs> My flower. <laughs> I feel like Celeste. It's very unfortunate. Like, I feel like all I can do is sort of wander around this little box. Excuse me. Fine, I'm taking this gold one. Ha ha, mine. Freedom! Oh, look at Sahara. I had Sahara on my thing too. It sounded like you had a really fun birthday, Rev. Very excited for you. All of the food looked delicious and everything. You're going back to work like like you're physically going back to work, EA? Is that what you mean? Oh, okay. Hell. Tiny, what did you do? Okay, yeah, I was confused. I thought you I thought you meant that you were like going back physically and so you're stuck. Well that's not my fault. I know you're down there. See you're right over here. And see you're not stuck because you're able to talk. And look, see, I can see you right there. You're right next to Sahara. But see, I could go like this. And... And see, I, I could... I could just be like this. And then you can't go nowhere. And that is funny. That's the thing, she's not trapped. Well, unless she doesn't have a ladder. Tiny, do you not have your ladder? If you don't have your ladder, you should be ashamed. No ladder! Oh, so sad! Oh, boo! Oh, no! Oh, woe is Tiny. You can always go all the way around this way. I'm just gonna stand here so that you're stuck. Meh! <laughs> Now you're stuck. Now you can't get out. Yeah, you don't need to get a you don't need a ladder to get out of here. Also, if, well, no, even if you have a wetsuit, you can't get out because you still don't have a ladder. How does it feel being trapped like a mouse? Yeah. Now what you gonna do, huh? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Nothing. You got nothing. Okay, I'm leaving now. Creative ways to trap people on islands. Incidentally, I'm very excited because I got a um, I got a, a, a weird DIY that's perfect for this stuff. So it is. I don't know if it's in housewares or where it is. There you go, jail bars. Like it, it's ridiculous, right? Isn't that crazy? 
But this is like it's perfect for for keeping people and you know NPCs and everything where you want. For the net bopping in the traps. I mean, that's that's really all there is to it in this particular stream. At least when it comes to Animal Crossing. As far as what Saturday brings, nobody knows. It's a it's a mysterious enigma wrapped inside of well, twine, and also some paradoxes of various sorts. The pitfall seed is definitely better. I don't have pitfall seed, though. I don't know how to get it. Hmm. Oh, you got the little human anatomy thing. I've got that from my science lab. I know the pitfall is a DIY, but I don't have it. Pitfall seed is hilarious. It's this little thing that you can plant in the ground, and it, it looks like um, a um, like a fossil or something like that. But when somebody steps on it, they literally fall into a hole. It's hilarious. I'm gonna sell all these flowers. Yeah, take that. Made 1960 bells. I'm rolling in it, bruh. Rolling in it! Yeah, I personally haven't um, haven't gotten it yet, so I'm I am anxiously awaiting it. I have been uh, I have been the victim of a pitfall trap, but uh, but I do not have it myself. Yeah, that's what you get, tiny. That's what happens. See. See. Oh, look at this! I can get this... This... It's not a visual punk outfit. That's that's cosplay for Pulp Fiction. That's what that is. It's a quality cosplay right there. Hmm. I know I've got Viking helmets or several of them. Yeah, it's happened a few times where I've been, um, where I have been the unfortunate victim of the pitfall trap. Hmm. We need to look fantabulous, you guys. There we go. Yes! Yes! Yes, I'm wearing it out. Look at how gorgeous I am. I am going out of Able. I had to do all my shopping. That's a very interesting punk outfit you got there. I like it. I don't think I have my wand on me. Oh, I do! Alright. Everybody ready? You'll be back. Then you'll see. You remember you belong to me. You'll be back. Time will tell. You'll remember that I served you well. Oceans rise, empires fall, we have seen each other through it all. And when push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 Okay, that's enough of that. But yeah, that's Toad's my cosplay. This is my other cosplay. I have my Tuxedo Mask cosplay. I don't know if they have a white version of this mask. I've been trying to find one. If anybody has one, then I need it for my Tuxedo Mask cosplay. So that nobody can know it's actually me. See, that's what I always worry about, Rev, whenever I do karaoke on stream, 
is that obviously it's it's gonna be taken down due to copyright infringement for the you know amazingness obviously so anyway a pitfall seed looks exactly like this but um, instead of something that you can that you dig up like basically when you step on it and you fall inside it works very similar to um, you know, like those old school spike traps in World War II and that type of stuff. Except, hopefully, at least there's fewer spikes at the bottom of it. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see, what else should I do? I am DJ Polymerase. Incidentally, this is my DJ name. If I ever become a DJ, I will be DJ Polymerase. I, I, anybody want to guess why that's my DJ name? Or anybody know why it is? I know I've mentioned it a few times. It's a hilarious reason. Well, I think it's hilarious. Wow, wicked, wicked, wow, wow, wicked, wicked, wow. Boom! Boom! Oh, this reminds me. Tiny, are you still doing your water flowering mm -hmm. services? I know I haven't been in touch about it for for a while, but but like I, I could definitely use water flowering because I'm still waiting on two of them. I'm still waiting on black cosmos and blue roses. And literally I've got the stuff to make them. It's just that I've not seen those particular hybrids show up yet. Mmm. Very close, Mathewin. Very close. So, it's DJ Polymerase because you're always dropping the bass. Huh? Because, 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 that's what, that's what it does. Okay, DNA and RNA polymerase are the proteins that build up the nucleic acids inside of the cell. And so they have to drop the bases with the A and the T and the G and the C and potentially the U if you happen to be RNA. And so they drop the bases into the thing to make the thing bigger with the bigness in the thing. Very simple. Y'all are terrible. I'm ahead at home. I have to go see... An otter about a mermaid thing. But yeah, it's like you drop the bass because it's like the, the B-A-S-S versus B-A-S-E and it's, it, whatever, it's fun. I also have my cycling outfit in my wand. Man, I haven't ridden my bike in a really long time. Does anybody have fun plans for, for this week at all? Just out as a question of curiosity. I know I do. I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow. I've got some, uh, some stuff arriving. We're supposedly arriving. Um, it's, it's supposed to be either... It, it should be here, if not tomorrow, then Wednesday. So I'm looking forward to that at least. Um, the rest of the time I'm basically writing, so... <laughs> Not a fan. Not a fan. You know, I feel like I could make that an out-school thing. Advanced over explaining the joke 202, taught by me. Oh, it's bedtime for Tiny. Good night, Tiny. Seriously, though, you guys can learn anything at a community college. It's crazy.
Alright. Time to try and visit an otter about a mermaid thing. Incidentally, I seriously considered doing, um, doing teaching at a local community college as part of a side hustle. It, like, everybody knows it doesn't pay well, but take, oh wow, look at me. Um, everybody knows it doesn't pay well, but take what you think it pays and, like, cut it in half. And you might be close. Like it, the it, it was truly abysmal how much they were offering per class. It was so bad. No way, matter. You fixed your GameCube. That's freaking awesome. That is so cool. Do you have all the classics? Like me, I'm honestly I'm debating going on like a Legend of Zelda kick, and uh, I'm busting out like uh, well, it's. It's really frustrating because I used to have the Ocarina of Time, what's it called? Um, the, the Ocarina of Time Master thing, um, the Master CD or Master Quest. That, that was the one, the re-release for GameCube that they had. And I can't find it. I, I think I lost it at some point during a move. And to this day, I'm really, really upset at myself for losing that. Um, because on top of that, my parents had sold my N64. So, well, okay, they didn't sell it, they gave it away. Um, but yeah. I do still have my GameCube. I honestly don't know if it still works, though, but I've got Wind Waker. And I would love to do a playthrough of Wind Waker, because that game is legitimately amazing. I, it, it, it is a genuine masterpiece, in my opinion. Not that it's a really rare opinion, but still, I'm going to give it. Either way, that's super cool matter. That's really awesome. I even got the, um, I even got Resident Evil 4 back when it was a GameCube exclusive before they did the, uh, the, I guess it was a re-release technically. Oh, yes! You guys, are you ready for some deep truths? All right, all right, everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet. We gotta hear his deep truth. All right, here we go. All right, we need we need the, the deep truth from our, our man, Pascal, here. All right. All right, everybody ready? Prepare yourselves. They say you can't compare apples and oranges, but that falls apart if you think about it even one second. Uh, I mean, I guess? Sort of? Maybe? I'm not gonna stick it in- I'm not gonna stick it in my skillet and let it simmer. I will not do that. If I'm going to let something simmer, it's going to be like a nice pot of soup or something like that. But I'm not putting that in a skillet. Freaking Pascal. To be fair, though, I think I understand his point. If we can attempt to interpret his seaweed-riddled mind. Wherein, I guess the idea is that you can technically compare anything to anything. It's just a matter of you got to have some kind of context. Content. You guys, did you see that? I can be a hungry philosopher. <laughs> see, that's a good one, Rev. If you get a bigger bed, you have more bedroom but less bedroom. That's, that's classic. Yeah, yeah, like that that's the whole shtick with those little keywords is that it unlocks them for you to put in your passport. Wait. 
Yes! I have officially found what is truly me. Yeah, I, I liked my other one too, the so-called intellectual. That, that one was always fun. But hungry intellectual works. Mm. But yeah, it's it's some good stuff. So, since our friend Pascal has encouraged us to philosophize, let's think about this. The entire point of the phrase, you can't compare apples and oranges, is to state that you have two things that are so different that any means of comparison is essentially irrelevant because you have they, they have virtually nothing in common or they're dealing with two completely separate subjects or topics or whatever it is. Whereas his point seems to be that, like, of course you can compare apples and oranges because you can. You can compare anything to anything. You can compare a monitor to a human being if you want. They are not red fruit. Oh, the red end. I Okay, <laughs> I saw round fruit and red end, and I read it on. I read it as red fruit. I was like, oranges are not red. Literally, it's in the name. <laughs> but yeah, there's plenty of ways that you can compare them. Not to mention, they do have plenty in common as well. So it's kind of interesting. But yeah, we always love to visit. Um, to to visit him, uh, Pascal, for his very well-known and well-loved... Oh, Mermaid Wall Clock! Score! That's what he gave me. Nice. Um, so, for his, for his un, unfettered wisdom of the seas. I mean... Hmm... Typically, you don't consume the skin of an orange, though. You can. You absolutely can. But typically, it's not done. Normally, you'll peel an orange before you eat it. Some, I, I have known some people who peel apples, and like not, not for a recipe or whatever, but just because they want to have a peeled apple. It's just weird. I mean, yeah, orange zest is a is a different thing, but I mean just like straight up having having like taking an orange and just going like oh, Like you don't do that. Well I personally don't. Again, you can, but beyond the use as orange zest, you don't necessarily have much going on. Hmm. You also have different subtypes of each. So, for example, in oranges, you have your mandarin oranges versus your navel oranges. Apples are much more expansive. Incidentally, if anybody is curious, there's some really, really fascinating articles and podcasts about apples. It sounds weird, it sounds strange, but honestly, it's really, really cool. Because there's... Um, there's an apple orchard farm research center thing in uh, Cornell, or at Cornell, I should say. And essentially, they have given us the apples as we know it. Um, they have created a very, very large number of apple types and subtypes that we know and love um, at this Cornell research um, area or apple place thing. I don't know what it's called. But it's really cool. Ooh. 
Well, yeah, of course the zest is a fancy name for orange skin, but normally you'll use a zester. You'll use that really fine grating. You won't just like straight cut off like a chunk of the skin and, you know, put it in your ice cream or whatever. Nah, <laughs> alligator apples. It's ridiculous. It's funny, but ridiculous. And did you guys know that the Haas avocado is actually named for the guy who essentially first ended up with them? Apparent, uh, if memory serves, rather, not apparently, but if memory serves, he was a, a postal worker. And essentially one day in his backyard, he found these really tiny um, softer avocados that were uh, that had a much richer flavor than the typical avocados. And so those became kind of the norm that everybody grows now. And it was just like some random dude, I think in California. Crazy stuff. There's, there's a lot of neat, um, neat things to learn about when it comes to agriculture and history. So like there's, um, there's a guy, oh my God, I can't remember his name. Shoot. He's a, he's a Nobel Prize winner, and he's basically the guy who figured out how we can cross genetics of different plants together. And in his case, he made, um, he made um, genetically modified rice of various sorts. And uh, according to some estimates and by the, the Nobel Committee, he had literally saved billions of lives because he created these very hardy strains of rice and stuff like that. But god dang it, I cannot remember his name. Ah, oh, shoot. It's not, it's not Neil something. Taz, it's gonna bug me. I'm gonna have to look it up. But either way, so that guy is really cool. And it's, it's one of those things where, you, you know, it's like the most fascinating people that you've never heard of type of thing. I remember the Aztec name. I, I do remember that. I remember the Aztec name for um, for avocado. <laughs> Avocados are delicious. I'm excited because um, soon Wifey and I are actually going to be making our own tortillas. Like we 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 went all out getting like the the full fledged cast iron tortilla press and everything. It's uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. I'm excited. It's it's really frustrating because we're trying to do like the um, the healthy eating um, shtick, and it's it's really difficult with quarantine and being under so much stress and frustration, and it's like it's it's just been really really bad on everybody. And like me, I just had this horrible weekend. Just I, I just like shut myself down for today essentially that's why I didn't work um but but yeah it's um and it, it's it's difficult especially when it comes to eating right and maintaining weight and stuff and that's why like I, I spent a bunch of money getting workout equipment and things like that but you know it's it's difficult when you're literally not doing anything and not going anywhere I mean you know, like uh, construction, for example, at least here, is considered an essential service. So they're still doing construction and stuff like that. And, you know, obviously that's a very manual labor intensive occupation. So you're still able to go out and move and work and do stuff. But for me, it's like, I, I mean, my, my work is, um, it's all computer based stuff. But at the same time, I would still commute back and forth to the office and I would ride my bike. But now my commute is coming downstairs and that's it. It's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty rough. Yeah. And really Rev, that's, that's the right way to think about it is just how well are you able to maintain stuff because like me i'm my 
especially more recently since I went on my massive diet and weight loss thing that I started oh my god how long has it been now four years ago or something god, it, fe it feels like it's been forever um, but my numbers are better but they're they're not great you know they're they're not wonderful they're they're good enough at least though but I'd really like them to go down especially my uh, my LDL is a little bit high uh, my HDL actually went up, and then of course my weight is just way too much. I hate it. I hate it so much. But um, but for me, it's um, I I haven't gained a whole lot of weight over quarantine, which is kind of nice. Um, I've gained some, but honestly, a lot of that's due to some medications and stuff that I'm going through, which is a whole other story. But. Yeah. Blue Godzilla. Yes, I need more God. I need more Gojira. Do, do you want the red one, Rev? Do you have a red one? Because I, I can send you a red one if you want. I would love to have more Gojira. Yeah, my problem is that when I get stressed, I get hungry. And when I get hungry and eat, then I get upset at myself. And then I get more stressed because I ate a bunch. And it's just this huge, giant, and horrible cycle. Alright. Yeah, sounds good, Rev. So it's just... It, it's really, really frustrating. Um, and... I... For me, when it comes to things like working out and stuff like that, a lot of people will say, oh yeah, I work out to de-stress and I just relax and chill and, you know, it takes away everything. I really don't enjoy working out particularly. I do it because I know I have to, because I have to maintain myself. But if, if somebody said, here, take this pill every day and you never have to work out ever again, I'd be like, awesome! <laughs> And I would totally do it. My <laughs> cheat decade. Yeah, no, what, what I really, really need is to find out that I have some long, distant, long lost relative who I never met, never knew, never cared for or anything. Find out that I am the only existing next of kin and I inherit like $15 million or whatever. That's what I really need. Because let's face it, money is by far the biggest stressor in most people's lives. And sucks. But either way. Oh, skinny pill? Yeah. And that's what I'm thinking too. Like, I, I need the skinny pill. Because I'm like, yeah. I learned a new word because I was um, I was watching the movie Frida, which is actually a wonderful movie. Incidentally, if anybody hasn't seen it, highly recommend it. But I learned the word panzon. It means fat. And I was like, score! New title for me. So, yeah, it's... It's aggravating. Incidentally, I'm just doing a quick tour of my house right now so that you guys can see stuff. I haven't really changed much of anything about my island lately. Um, I, I am pretty happy with how things look overall, though. I, I really like my big kitchen upstairs. I really need a dumbwaiter of some sort, though, because how else am I going to get the food downstairs? You know? It does sound kind of like Yoshi's Story. Oh, man. Yoshi's Story. That would be a fun game to play. See, that's why. KK actually has some really cool songs if you guys haven't heard them. 
Uh, incidentally, this one, Drive-In, is one of the secret songs that he has. This is one that you have to specifically request that he plays. Whatever it means, fat. I'm glad that the attic is coming along. That's really cool. Comrade KK, if memory serves, sounds kind of like Tetris. I'll have to go up and play it. Oh, look, see, I have my two lab assistants. These are giant isopods. You can catch them in the ocean, um, how I was doing when I um, met with Pascal. And um, they're actually worth a lot of money. They're worth like 15,000 bells. But they look adorable as little helpers in my lab. So they just sort of sit here and they help out. It's awesome. And I've got my, I got my wasp head. I also have a grasshopper head or a praying mantis head in my science room. I am not the assistant. I am the awesome. Well, not real awesome, but I am the dandy. <laughs> Teaching assistants in indistinguishable from the professors. That's more like it, yeah. So here. Oh yeah, there you go, Comrade Kaker. Anybody else feel like they're at a quinceanera? Pondering will be my theme song in my little music room. But yeah, it's, um, the, the whole quarantine thing is really sucking life out of a lot of aspects of life, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So, I've, I've actually been to a surprising number of quinceaneras, and they're... At least in my experience, it's pretty fascinating. Like, I, I've been to ones where they, they've they gone super crazy all out. I've been to ones that are really, um, really simple and things like that. At one point, I even went to a quinceanero uh, because the, um, the young boy was jealous of his older sister because she got to have a big party when she turned 15 and why can't I? And so his parents actually threw him a quinceanero. And um, that just took place in the backyard, <laughs> where his, his sisters was in like a massive dance hall. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> because that's what you do. Uh, but yeah, that was that was pretty hilarious. Um, but no, there. Um, it's it's an, it's a very interesting thing to to see. Um, and, and yeah, I've, I've watched a, a decent number of them and it's, I mean, they're, they're fun, just giant parties, essentially. It's pretty cool. Oh! I need one of these! I got big head free! Score! Hooray! Mm, yeah, I'll go. I'll have to go and check the mail. Thank you, Rev. Yeah, I mean, of course, the Sweet Sixteen is the. I got. I don't know if they do it in England. I. I was gonna say the English version, but um, I guess American version of a quinceanera. Um, 
I mean, of course, and, like I honestly, for for a lot of that stuff, I I really blame MTV because they had the stupid um they they had that stupid my super sweet 16 show or whatever it was just ridiculous like the the audacity of those people i mean not and that's the thing is it wasn't just the birthday girls it was the parents it was the siblings it was the everything it was absolutely ridiculous Oh, see, and look at all my different models that I've got. So this is from uh, Flick and CJ in the various times that uh, they've come to visit. Yep, debutante. Always fun, the debutante ball. I get to go turn in my Napoleon fish. This is exciting. Here's Big Head. In that little bag. The stately and debonair Napoleon fish is truly something to behold. That bumpy head, that bold blue green coloring. We have to take care of our lumpy friend. You guys, our lumpy friend. That's definitely what it is, EA. Um, not having a debutante ball, it's it's basically societal suicide. I mean, I don't know much, but if Gossip Girl has taught me anything, it's that a debutante slash... I, I think it was just debutante that they did. Was there another one? I, I thought there was another one that started with a B as well. But either way... You, you don't want to have nothing go wrong during your debutante because it's just, I mean, it, it just doesn't matter after that. Your life basically just goes downhill from there. That's pretty much all that happens. Ah, Rev! Hooray, Rev! Go, go, Godzilla! Oh my god, that's a great song. Thank you so much, Rev. Go, 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 Jira! Yes! I should face them so they're fighting each other. The quarantine debutante ball. Gilmore Girls, to, uh, Gilmore Girls, that makes sense because they, they were Richie Rich folk as well. Either way, all of those shows with the, the gossiping and the Gilmoreing and the whatnots. We can all have a virtual debutante ball. There will be cookies and booze. And um, the main course will be fancy grilled cheese sandwiches or pork sliders, depending on your tolerance for cheese. Or both, if you want them. I'll bring a dodgeball. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, snap. Hmm, what else should I do? I'm going to see if anybody's crafting. So I went around, I watered my plants already. Did I see a thought bubble? Doc, why do you have a thought bubble? You're not allowed to think. Huh? Your catchphrase is boring. I need to have some words with Leopold. Nah, I like it. <laughs> do tequila shots. <laughs> that reminds me of all the quinceañeras and also weddings that I had been to. There, 
it seemed like every single family had like a sect of folks where one person was in charge of bringing a bottle of tequila and then like four people drank the entire thing. Ridiculous. I do know how to make a shell arch, bro. Alyssa does need to know about the debutante because this is very necessary. Debutante is like prom on steroids. I mean, come on. And you absolutely cannot have a bad showing at a debutante. Oh, oh, you guys, are you ready for me to drop some wisdom on you? Okay, here, check it out. So, for some girls, going to a debutante ball, or wait, no, for some girls, not going to their debutante ball is social suicide, but for other girls, going to their, de their debutante is social patricide. Oh, I feel like I need bongos in a beret. Get it? Because their parents are ashamed of them. See, that's a thinking joke right there. Hey, look at Sahara. What's up, Sahara? How you do? Oh, you have to have a majestic sweeping Victorian staircase. Otherwise, it just doesn't even matter. Because it, at that point, it's just like, I mean, why, why are you even bothering? You, you don't even have the right staircase for this. Fishy! I'll go fishy. Oh my god. It's just about time to go, but quick story. There's a, uh, a buddy of mine that I... I went to college with him in uh, undergrad. And... Excuse me. I'm friends with him on Facebook. I actually met him as a freshman, and we were friends all throughout um, undergrad. We were um, we were in the same like little study group and social circles and everything. And so he's always posting pictures of all all of his fishing trips and stuff like that. I'm super jealous because he always gets massive hauls. And a couple of weeks ago, he actually posted a picture where he had caught a bunch of flounder. He had like half a dozen of them and it just made me laugh my head off because those things are so goofy looking. Like, come on. They're so weird. They're flat and their mouths are on the bottom and their eyes are on top. And it, it looks like somebody took a manta ray and stuck googly eyes on it. That is basically what a flounder is. Except it's not as majestic as a as a manta ray. It's just so ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Either way, that's my story. I should probably get going though. It's about that time. So one thing that I like to do is I like to um, exit out the game, and then everybody can guess um, who is going to show up on the title screen because it's a it's a random villager who shows back up on the title screen after you exit out. So I've got Admiral, who's a bird. I have Leopold and Bud, who are both lions. I've got Zucker the octopus. I've got Mira, who is a, or I've got Mira and Doc, who are both rabbits. I've got, um, I've got Blue Bear, who is a bear, shockingly. And then who else do I have? I've got, um, I, oh, I've got Dina, who's duck. And then, I don't remember the other two off the top of my head. But everybody can take a guess. Bones! I've got Bones, the dog. Oh my god, how could I forget Bones? He's my favorite. I mean, I don't have a favorite. Um, I don't know if a flounder tried to beat up Spongebob. It's Doc! Doc is awesome. I love Doc. 
He's a lazy bunny who's trying to become a computer programmer. And I'm just a fan of that. I, I just think it's pretty cool. Oh, there's Blue Bear's house. So the, the one that's on the far right, that's Blue Bear's house. But yeah, I don't know. It may have been a flounder. Either way, the, the way that the flounder looks in Animal Crossing is pretty much what a flounder looks like in real life. They are brown with, or they're like a brownish with darker brown spots. They are pretty flat and they're, they're kind of oblong in shape. And they have two eyes just sort of stuck to the top of their body. It's just really ridiculous. But either way, you guys take care of yourselves. Have fun. Have a at least a decent week. Oh, wait. Matterpo did Oh, there's Bud in the background. Um, that looks like a flounder. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain that's a flounder. Definitely looks like one. I would say yes. Bye, bud. Bud, where are you going? Yeah, I know you ain't flying nowhere. Get back to your house. Doc? Doc, you're not flying nowhere either. That's right. Walk away. They they did. Yes, the, the Little Mermaid has no idea what flounders are supposed to look like. They really have no clue. Absolutely none whatsoever. <laughs> it's cruel to taunt the captives. <laughs> it's funny, though, because I won't let them leave even if they ask. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I've got Naomi. Naomi is a cow. I mean that literally. She is literally a cow. Like, that is the type of animal she is. I don't know what's happening. I didn't touch anything. I don't know what occurs when you leave it sitting. Let's, let's find out. And then I got to go. It's Mira and Bones! And there's Admiral! Oh, everybody's here! Blue Bear is probably in an alley somewhere doing something unscrupulous. But either way, I'm gonna head out. You guys take care of yourselves. Hope that you have good weeks all around with various sorts and various things. But you guys be good, be well. And I will, um, I'll see you all on Saturday. Again, let me know if there's anything particular that you'd like to see um, game-wise for Saturday because as of now, I'm not certain what all I'm going to play. But bye-bye for now. <laughs>